Hey guys, uh, I don't know how many of you know this, but early in early July I actually published two books. Um, I'm I'm a new author, uh, so uh, you know I I did, you know had a had a lot to work out, but you know God blessed me through this, and I'm really happy about it. Now the first one is called Walking by Faith, just like the channel, and it's a Christian devotional with uh, examples of, through daily life of um, different kind of stories and with a teaching in the end. Uh, I'm giving it away for free. Go ahead, take it. Uh, it is on Amazon for 99 cents, but you can get it in the description below for free. Uh, the, other, the other book is called Creator's Core. Now this book, let me actually show you it, uh, this I've been working on for about uh, two and a half years. Okay, it started with a lot of prayer and fasting. I wanted to make sure God wanted me to write this book. Uh, it's a Christian fantasy novel. And uh, basically what, what I wanted to do was to write a, a fantasy adventure through which I could teach the gospel, show the gospel. Uh, and um, it's got on some pretty good reviews, actually. Uh, you know, and uh, there was this actually this one guy, and I uh, he read it, and he gave me an award on his website, which was really amazing. I wasn't expecting that. And from what people have told me, he doesn't give away um, awards uh, really, you know, that that often. So really, yeah, what this book is about. Uh, let me actually read the blurb in the back. Uh, 18-year-old Edward has been raised with tales of distant lands where dragons and other strange beasts dwell. He dreams of one day joining the keepers who fight against them to keep the land safe. However, life's obstacles keep him firmly rooted in the small town of Caystone. When 17-year-old June comes passing through, following a dream given to her by the creator of the universe, Edward's life is about to change. Pursued by a demon-possessed man, the two of them are forced to flee to areas where dragons and monsters are not just tales, but reality. June and Edward eventually discover what the demons want from them. Is it possible to defeat this evil and save everyone from the darkness that threatens the land? Right, so what I've tried to do is weave Christianity into this book. So, uh, it's not... You know, nowadays Christian fantasy is is very broad. Like what kind of things you could find, you can find a book that hints at Christianity. You can find a book that has moral teachings that's written by a Christian. Uh, I wanted this to represent Christianity. I wanted the people reading it to understand what what it means to follow Christ, what it means to follow Jesus. So, so I just wanted to share uh, a little bit of. You know what what the reviewers have said uh you know it's only come out this month like i said i only have six reviews so far but you know people are, are happy with it and um yeah i'm happy with it too uh right so what do we have here so like spirit filled fantasy is always fun to read and he goes on to it to explain a little bit about the story here uh we have um Creator's Core is a fantasy novel with biblical elements. Uh, if, yeah, and then it says, if you're not comfortable with th Christian themes, this might not be the book for you. However, for those looking for an ambiguously Christian fantasy, Creator's Core fits the bill. It seamlessly marries fantasy with the New Testament elements. Um, we have... Uh, I fully enjoyed it and it kept me captivated throughout the whole reading. I was especially glad to see another book that had dragons as good guys and not all as evil. Having faith tied in was even better. The author's grasp of our identity in Christ versus our identity in Adam is spot on, and you'll see it woven throughout the book. You know, I was I was going for some of that stuff, and uh, I'm I'm glad it's uh, you know it came through. Um, it's an interesting plot and several twists I didn't see coming. Uh, here we have fantasy adventure with and the gospel, a great book with plot twists and suspense. The gospel message is weaved throughout and demonstrated through the characters and supernatural elements in the fantasy world. It's an enjoyable and intriguing read with many interesting characters and protagonists meet along the way. I definitely recommend it. So, they recommend it. Uh, I recommend it. 
Um, check it out. All right. Take care, guys.